We're here to dial the engine, Ooh, the crankcase, the crank, crankshaft. Here to dial it, and he's installing his dialing equipment. And what are you looking for? Deviation. To see if it's if it's straight, if it's going like that. Okay. So this. So I'm going to do it this both. Both. I want to do it like this, which I think we can do it. Well, we can remove this. This this inner one that will give you a little bit more room. Can you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. I don't know where I'm going to get this. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't remove this. Well, that's all right. This is going to work okay. Because we've got to take the spark plugs out in order to be able to, to, turn, the engine to turn the engine. So, do these come off? Do I need to untighten these first? And yeah, then... we've got a 7 8 take those off, take all the spark plugs off. So, first 7 8 take that, and right. then the socket. Right, I'll so. Correct. Six-cylinder IO550. One of the best engines, apparently. So I'm told. That's what's on the Cirrus. SR22. So do I need to do just one? Hopefully, I only need to do one per cylinder. There's two per cylinder. And these on bottom ones aren't easy to get to. Ah, of course. Voila. I think I'll let my mechanic do the rest. And here's the setup. So he's going to measure deviations this way, and then he's going to do one on the surface here. You have them out? The draggling? No, the spark plugs. Uh, one, all two, them? three. Let me double check. One, two, three. Yep, they're all out. Let's see what we got here. We're at two thousandths. What was that? Magnetos. Oh. Three thousandths. Was he done half a turn so far? Yeah, well, not quite. I put the mark there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Is it touching yet? No. Where did it start? Right there. Well, where did you mark it when right, it was there? Right there. Oh, okay. Huh. Three, I, I think that's pretty good, actually. I don't know what the limit is, but. Those were the little numbers that were etched on it. Did you see it go like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, surface. Yeah. Let's 
seems perfectly fine. So the big question is, what is the, what is the trend? The baby boomers quit aviation in mass. All of a sudden, you don't have a waiting list for hangars anymore. You know, most of these guys that have these hangars are about 75 years old. Yeah, so, you know, the question is, how long are they going to be doing aviation? Now, the advantage of hangars is that hangars are designed for airplanes, and as long as there are airplanes, you need hangars for the expensive airplanes. The cheap right. ones, you just end up putting them on the ramp or, or, what, or what have you, but... I've got to say, though, that I've been on some of the Facebook groups, uh, hangar, you know, uh, the hangar rent here is actually pretty cheap. Yeah. Some of them are... T hangers are $1,000 a month up in Centennial. The, yeah. yeah. Actually, this is really good. I need to use the restroom. So, okay. so far, so good? Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Great. Good to hear.